I think it might be a good idea to go ahead and build another couple of houses. Now, at the moment, we are still working on building the chapel. It's going to need a lot of logs, a lot of stone, and a lot of iron. We're also working on the cemetery, which is going to need a lot of stone as well. Now, we do have 310 stone in storage, which is good. I'm happy about that. That's a good thing. But it doesn't hurt to have more. And we are a little bit low on logs as well. And we have to keep in mind the logs are used for a lot of things. They're not just construction, but it's wood cutting for firewood. It is the blacksmith for tools. So having some extra logs seems like a good idea. So that's a very roundabout way of saying that while I do want to build more houses, I need more logs first. So that's what we're going to do. And I'm going to go ahead and basically say that we're clearing out this entire space. So we'll do a 24 by 24 clearance in here. We're already in there getting rid of a lot of things. So we might as well clear it out completely. And then what I think I might do is actually put a couple of orchards up there. Because that would be nice. It'd be nice to have a little bit of variety in my citizens diets. Because right now it is mostly squash and potatoes, which... Man, that's got to do that's that's got to do something to you. That that can't be I don't want to go into too much detail, but I imagine that's that makes for an uncomfortable 6 hours later. Uh <laughs> regardless of that, there are some other things I'd like to do. So I'm going to try and micromanage a bunch of little tasks here. I think the first thing we'll do is actually go ahead and prioritize clearing out this space because I do want that done as quickly as possible and they are still getting rid of all the stones in here as well. So everything's going to go in that space, which is totally fine. So while they're doing that, let's come down here and we'll build another couple of houses. And I think what we'll do is just go ahead and say, I don't know, one right there, one, two, three, four, five, and right there. We'll do two more for the time being. And the reason I wanna do this is because if we look at these houses, there's a lot of people in here. There's, there's a lot of people of varying ages. So I'm pretty sure if we get another couple of houses, we'll see a few citizens move in there. We'll see two people move in. And then a couple of months later, perhaps nine months specifically, we'll see a little babby be formed and uh, we'll have a little boost to the population, which is always a good thing. Although in saying that, I mean, we have seven laborers right now and they're not doing a whole lot. So it's not really the end of the world if we don't have the population suddenly explode. And honestly, a fear of the population exploding is exactly why I'm not building another six houses because I've done that before. In some previous series, in some previous live streams, I have built way too many houses. And what happens is when you build way too many houses, your citizens start to breed like rabbits or alligators, I've been told. And <laughs> I don't know what that means. And they will uh, basically, you know, there'll be a lot of kids and you just can't feed them. So. We're not going to get too carried away with uh, with growing the population. I want it to be at a, at a nice, steady rate. So with that in mind, I want to come over to this island. We've got some construction projects here. I want to look at this island because there's a few things I want to do. The first thing is I want to come in here and clear it completely of all resources because I want to build a town hall out here. And I'm also fairly sure... I can get a whole bunch of fishing docks out here. And I think that would be good because here's the thing. As I mentioned, getting some orchards is going to be another source of food, but more fishing docks. I mean, that's kind of the entire reason that I want this river right next to my settlement. That's why a lot of towns in real life are built on rivers. It's for a source of food and water, but also for transportation. It can be good to, you know, get things up and down a river. But regardless, I want my town hall on this island. I think it'll look really cool. So what we'll do is we'll come in here and we'll build out some bridges is what we'll do. So from here to about there should be fine. And we'll go from here to about there and that should be fine as well. And then once those are built, once this is cleared out, we can go ahead and start putting stuff on that island. I think it'll look really cool and I'm really, really quite excited for that. And I think what I'm also going to do is prioritize building the cemetery and also the chapel. Now, I don't know if I explained the reason for both of these buildings or these things existing in the case of the cemetery. It's not really a building. Long story short, they just make people happier. So the chapel, I think it says it when you select it here. 
yeah, provide happiness for the devout and a place to meet and worship. So it does improve happiness. And then the cemetery will prevent citizens from becoming sad when their elders die. So they both serve the same purpose. They provide happiness in life and they console the grieving in death. And that will hopefully keep everybody nice and happy and nice and motivated. Now, I've been reading some of the comments thus far on the series, and I'm glad people are enjoying it. I'm so excited to see people still swooning over this game almost 10 years later. I do have two things that I want to talk about really quickly. Number one, I know we need a tailor. We're 100% going to be doing that. And number two is whenever I move the camera around, sometimes you'll see it. You might have seen it just now. There's like a screen tearing thing going on. I can't do anything about that. As some people said turn on V-Sync. V-Sync is on. It is just, it's, it, I don't see it on the monitor that I'm playing on, but I do see it in my recording. And because of the way I record, I record onto a separate PC via a capture card. I've looked in the settings of this thing, man, and it will not let me change the frame rate. It believes the capture card thinks I'm outputting at 1440p, 120 FPS. I'm not. The game is locked to 60 FPS right now, so that's why there's some screen sharing going on. I'm going to keep working with it. I'm going to keep testing it. I'm going to see what's going on and see if I can get that thing to stop believing it's at 120. Maybe I just have to limit, I don't know, get some frame rate limiter for my, my gaming PC. I, I have no idea, but that screen tearing thing, I know it's a pain. I hate it as well. I edit these videos and I'm like, man, that looks terrible, but... It's, it's something I'm aware of and I am trying to fix. It's just taking a little bit longer than I thought it would. Anyway, let's go ahead and speed the game up a little bit. We really don't need to be running at two times speed this entire time. We can hopefully get the, uh, the cemetery and the chapel up. And I think honestly what we can do, let's go ahead and get a few more builders. We'll get five of them. We'll leave three laborers. I think we can manage with three laborers. We'll hopefully get some more stuff done. Now that we have these uh, these builders going around, so hopefully we're going to see... Actually, this thing is ready to go. This thing's ready to be built. So hopefully, there we go. They'll come down here. They'll get this thing built in no time. We can go ahead and get out ahead of it by getting ourselves a cleric down here in the bottom left right away. That is going to mean that someone, this guy specifically, is running around with nowhere to work. But as soon as this is built, which it is about to be any second now, if you guys would finish it, come on. There it is. Uh, we we should we should have the cleric heading over there shortly to uh, to do their job. And there we go. They absolutely are. And honestly, I think that looks really cool. I like it a lot. We might have to change this space a little bit at some point to look a little bit more appropriate. But I'm uh, I'm really pleased that we've got that. That's going to help people be nice and happy. And then this thing is going to have 45 graves. So that will stop them from getting sad whenever people die. That's good. That's both of those out of the way. The next thing I want to do is I do want to get these houses before we start working on the bridges. My laborers can go ahead and start moving stuff over to the bridges if they want, but the houses are sort of the priority because again, as we have people age up and become laborers, they are going to want to move out. They are going to want their own place. So this one, for example, immediately has a little family going in there. This one will probably be exactly the same. We'll probably see a little family head into this one as well the second it's done, which it is now done. There we go. And so I think what we'll do is bring our builders down to two, giving us five laborers. And once these bridges are done, once this space is cleared out, I think what we'll do is we'll build our town hall here. And I think what we'll also do is build another market because we're going to have a lot of people working on this island. We're going to have the fishing docks and every fishing dock can have four workers. So I'm thinking we can get five of them here. I'm thinking one down here, one about here, uh, one up here, here and down here. So that's going to be what, 20 potential workers. So yeah, that's 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 not bad. That's that's not bad at all. We'll definitely want some houses. We'll definitely want a market to provide for those. We're going to want a storage barn here as well. And arguably, we could probably do some stockpiles and things like that as well, because we could push some roads straight through and do another forester gatherer and, and all that good stuff out in this space. This actually would be a really good spot for it. It's nice and open. It looks pretty good. So we might want to do that. Also, 
I don't think that tree fell. I think that tree just got old and fell over. I don't think there's there's no one actually out there. So yeah, I think I think that's what's going on. And I ooh, wow, that got that got cleared out quickly, didn't it? All right, well that's fine. Let's uh, let's slow things down just a little bit, and let me get myself a couple of orchards. And what I'm gonna do with these is just. 11 by 11 for the orchards. I think these can go up to 14 by 14, but I'm going to do 11 by 11 because I just want them to fit nicely in this space. And then what I can do is uh, just bring a road up and around them. And I think that'll look pretty good. So there we go. We're going to have to get rid of a couple of things in those spaces. So let's also prioritize that. Since it's late winter, it'd be nice if these things get planted sooner than later. Although in saying that, and in fairness, uh, it's not like the trees are going to bear fruit immediately anyway, so I guess it doesn't really matter. I just would like these to be cleared out. That would be, that would be nice. As for the bridges, how are we looking? Have, wait, can I click them? There we go. Uh, we have no stone on this one and no logs. We have this one actually ready, almost ready to be built, so that's not too bad. And then again, hopefully, like I said, this one up here or these spaces can be cleared out in no time at all. We do have these seven laborers. I'm slightly concerned at where they might be because they're not clearing out those fields. So I'm a little concerned. I think they, oh, they're going out here and they're moving all this stuff. That's totally fine. As long as they haven't ran off and tried to get around to this island somehow, I, I don't mind what they do. And then I think what we will do is get the pecan trees in here. And that's going to mean that we have up to, well, we could have up to 14 farmers. We're going to go for up to seven. So again, that's going to be one farmer per field, including the two orchards, which is totally fine. I'm really not too concerned about that. Uh, this bridge is actually coming along really nicely as well, which is beautiful. I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm rushing. I, I feel like I'm speaking really fast and I'm going like from one thing to the other to the other, but this is good. This is progress. This is what I, this is kind of what I set out to try and do today. Ooh. Oh, hold on. You guys don't have any logs right now. Okay. Let me see. I'm going to keep the game paused while I figure this out because we might, we might want, ah, do we want a forester to be a little bit closer? I don't, not closer. Do I want another forester is what I mean? Not, I don't care how close they are. I, I don't know. I, I like the idea of one over here, but if we're out of logs, I mean, I could just clear out a whole bunch of space. I, I mean, I could theoretically clear out this entire space and get a whole bunch of logs and resources and then put a forester in there to regrow that forest. That might be what I have to do, especially since I am going to be doing, I mean, well, actually, you know, I think we'll be fine. This, this has all the resources it needs. So once this bridge is built, we can now get over here, which is going to be a source of logs and stone and iron. So we're actually going to be fine. We don't we don't need another forester right now. So I might be able to stick to my idea of punching straight through here, which is kind of what I want to do. I also want to line these guys up a little bit. So give me a road right there. Give me a road. Uh, do I want to bring this across? I don't really. I do want them to be in line, though. So we'll do something like that. And I wonder, hold on a second, hold on a second. Does the, t oh my God, it fits perfectly. Oh, that is so, that's so satisfying. Yeah, we're doing that. We're doing the town hall right there. I am going to pause construction on this because I don't want them building it right now. And I do want a market in front of it. Does the market go central? It does. We're not getting treated like city skylines here. We're getting the thing nice and central. That is what I want right there. That is perfect. All right. So the market's going to live there. We've got the town hall right there. And I'm going to do something that I... I realize I don't need to do this. I realize I don't need a boarding house. But I just really like how the boarding house looks next to a market. And I think it's going to look really good having a boarding house there opposite the town hall. So I'm kind of excited about this. I think... I think it's going to look cool. If it doesn't, we can bulldo bulldoze it. We can tear it down and it'll be fine. And I think behind the boarding house is maybe where we could do some regular houses. I'm not against that either, actually. Let's see. What design do I want to go for? I kind of like this one. I 
don't mind this one. It's pretty good. This is the one we used already. I'm not against repeating the designs, obviously, but I think we'll just use the little L-shaped one here and that'll be totally fine. Uh, so let's see. We want to go and do a little house. We'll go one and we'll just get this to be the same one. That's two. And we can do three absolutely perfectly back there. Okay. Can I do one opposite? I'm going to doubt it. I, I strongly doubt, yeah. So we can't do one there, but that's honestly fine. Uh, we can do one there. And I think we can do one right about here. So that'll be five houses, a boarding house, a market, a town hall. And we we want all of the, the fishing docks around here as well. This is going to be so good. Also, I kind of wonder if there's a hotkey to select these and pause construction. I'm sure there is, but for the life of me, I don't remember it. It might actually be a different game that I'm remembering. I know there's some games where you can select a building and press a button to just immediately pause construction, but I don't I don't remember if Banished was one of those games. I guess it doesn't matter. I can I can select them all easily enough. And I suppose while this is all going on, while we're clearing this out, I should keep on I've I've got a momentum here, I feel. So let's uh let's keep that momentum going. So this guy's radius is up to about that tree. So why don't I just build this like right here? And that should be fine, I think. Can I build it up here? I actually can, but that has a little bit more overlap than I'd like. I don't I don't know if I mind that, though. I, I like how it looks at the peak of the island. So we're going to do that. Uh, we'll build another one. I'm going to say right here and I can build and wait. What's the radius on you? It is kind of in line with that stump right there so I can build one about here ish and that should be fine so we'll go ahead and do we'll go ahead and do that so that's what one two three we have this one down here which lines up with that uh, that pine tree so if I get myself another fishing dock I can put one I'm gonna say right about there and I can probably get another one where do you go so you're kind of like in line with that one dead tree so if I put a fishing dock can I get one right about here? I totally can. That's going to have a little bit of overlap, but I'm honestly okay with that. That's five fishing docks. That's going to be so much food coming in here. That's absolutely perfect. It really is. I'm also wondering if these guys are not tearing down these trees because I've paused construction. That, that could very well be the reason. All right. In that case, let me... Oh, let me unpause everything. We'll unpause everything. We'll just let them build. We'll let them go nuts. This might have the game get away from me a little bit, but we did just have three people become laborers. So I think I think we'll manage. I uh, I think we'll be OK. I don't like that it's early spring and it's snowing. That's got me a little bit worried, but I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure I'm sure I'm sure it'll be totally fine. Can I I can do this. That's what I'm looking for. Can I bring this around? I totally can. So that's going to circle the market. We're going to need a little path that sort of comes back this way and goes down between these houses. Do I want it to just go straight down here? I think I do. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. So we'll bring one to here. We'll bring one down through here. Can I bring it around there? I don't think I can. So that's all right. So that's access to the houses. That's access to the fishing dock, the market and the town hall. Uh, this will be access to that fishing dock. This fishing dock down here, we're going to need to, we could do that, or I can just bring this sort of down here and straight across, which is what I think I'll do. This one can be kind of a similar thing. I think we'll just sort of bring this road down like that, giving us a weird little square, but I'm honestly okay with it. And then this one is going to be a bit of a pain because apparently I can't build exactly how I would want to. I don't know if that's because of rocks. It might be because of rocks. I guess we'll wait and see what happens here. Ooh, that lines up really nicely. That's that's kind of perfect. All right. I really like this. <laughs> I do. I really like this. I think it looks really cool. I'm also glad that we did get a nice little supply of uh, of logs from all of this. We've still got a few more to go. It won't be enough to build everything here, but it's it's a supply and that's kind of all I need it to be. Uh, oh, this does go straight through. Perfect. I guess we'll go. Let's see. Can I go to there? I totally can. So we'll do this. And then for this one, 
will just come straight down like that. I'm not really too worried about perfect squares and grids and all that stuff. We're probably going to improvise a little bit and make this look something or other. Uh, in fact, does this... Oh, oh, that fits absolutely perfectly. Yes, that is going right there. And I think what I'm going to do is use this square for more storage. So what size is it? It is 12 by 8. Can I do 6 by 8 and 6 by 8? I totally can. So we have our storage barn. We have our stockpiles. We've got more room for houses. We could bring the blacksmith over here if I wanted to. This is going to be good. This is a good little island is what this is. I'm really quite pleased with this. And I'm actually thinking we could also build a trading post. We could absolutely build the, uh, build the trading post here. And then use this island as our main trading port. That seems like it would make sense to me. So let me actually get rid of this road. Let me actually go and get my trading post. And it can go right there. I don't know if we're going to run this thing right now. I don't know if it's actually going to be active, but I'm kind of okay with it. I'm, I'm kind of okay with that being there. I think that's going to be good as well. We'll also do the little double road because that's going to look cool. And uh, <laughs> I am genuinely, I'm, I'm quite pleased with this layout. I think it looks pretty good. I'm even tempted to suggest that I put a, a forester in here to surround all of this with trees. I think that would be kind of great as well, if maybe a little bit of overkill. So I might hold off on that one, but I like it. I do. I'm, I'm really excited. The town hall especially is a super important building because I can't remember what they're called. I think they're called nomads. But every now and then you'll have a group of people that show up to your town hall and they're like, hey, we have nowhere to go. Can we live with you? And it can be a really good boost to your population. Obviously. I don't think we need that right now. I think we're, uh, <laughs> I think we're in a pretty good spot. We've got 13 laborers. In fact, we have so many laborers that what I'm going to do is, hmm, I'm going to get another hunter and I'm going to get more foresters because I need the foresters to be a little bit quicker. I need them to be a little bit better. And I need more trees to start coming out of this space. So I'm hoping that maxing out the number of foresters we can have will be really good for us. I'm hoping that actually does what I want it to do. And I'm hoping it means that we can start to get rid of this, you know, lack of logs that we have. I'm also really hoping my builders go ahead and build the town hall. But I realize I've got two builders for work that 42 builders should be doing. So I, I probably can't complain too much that they're a little bit slow. But I think what I will do is I think I will come into this space and I think I will just clear it out. So all of this can go away. If we want to, you know, replace the trees in here, we can at some point. We can put a forester in there. I think they also grow naturally. So it's really not the end of the world. This place will get covered in trees again. We just kind of need the resources. We're also pretty much out of stone and we're getting really close to being out of iron as well. So... We might need to start looking at getting a mine, to be quite honest, because the nearest stone looks like it's going to be down here. And that's that's a bit of a distance. That is that is a little bit of a distance. We uh, I guess we'll clear out right down to about here. We'll do the same thing with uh, with all the iron in the area as well. I think I think we might want to start getting our hands on some mines so that I can uh, have a nice reliable source of stone and and iron. It means we can also get coal as well. And coal's good. I think coal, if I remember right, I think I've said already, it goes into the blacksmith. So logs, iron, and coal will give you steel tools, which are better. And then I realize we haven't even looked at the tailor. So if I look in here, the tailor will make warm clothes to ward off the effects of winter. So we could build a tailor over here. I think we probably will build a tailor over here at some point. We'll also probably do the the tavern here as well. It does make people happy. I'm just, I'm trying to remember how exactly we get the stuff for it. I think that's where the trading post comes in. I think you'll have someone come by and you can buy animals and then you can breed them and that'll be good for ranches. So if you get something like sheep, you can uh, use their wool to make clothes. And I think you can also buy seeds from the traders as well which is going to let you basically grow different things. So if we could grow, 
I guess, hops or something like that. I, I really don't know. That's, I would imagine, how we get alcohol. So that'll be the plan at the very least. And I guess with 12 laborers, let's go ahead and get like five builders. Let's get six builders just to try and get this stuff going a little bit quicker. And I guess we'll get maybe one more vendor so that this market is going to be up and going, which it now is. So we'll have the boarding house up in no time. We'll have the wooden houses up in no time. We'll have these fishing docks up in no time as well. I guess let's, I don't really want to do too many cuts in this series, but let's fast forward a little bit until this is all built. Oh, now, interestingly, during the construction, we've had our first death. Lasandi, Lasandi, Les Andy, Lasandi. The farmer has died of old age. Desi has replaced Lasandi as a farmer. So this is something I mentioned, I think, earlier on in the series. Uh, basically, your laborers will replace people if and when they die. So if you don't have laborers and a farmer dies, you're going to be down a farmer. So this is why it's important to have that sort of steady uh, population. That's why it's important to have, you know, kids being born and growing up to become laborers. Now, the tricky part with all of that is, uh, as I've mentioned, at some point, I'm going to want to educate them and education will slow down how quickly they become laborers. So I'm a little concerned. I'm, I'm a little concerned for sure about uh, about all of that, but we'll get to it eventually is is what we'll do. I'm also thinking that I am actually going to push through here with another bridge. I don't think we necessarily need it, but I, I want to get a bridge to access that side of the water so that we can go ahead and start clearing out this space. Because I, I think, I do think we need to uh, to get resources from somewhere. We're very low on iron, stone, and logs. So if we can do a little something, something about that, that would be nice. We've also just had a bunch of kids being born because we have uh, all of these new houses over here. So I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's get two more fishermen to uh, start filling up the docks that we have over here. So that'll be a supply of food coming in to this side of town, which is pretty cool. Honestly, we can actually go ahead and get another uh, fisherman right here. So we'll go ahead and get a fifth one for this dock down here. And I guess we'll also build a little bit of path out towards this uh, this bridge, which I mean, we can't build it. We don't have the resources, so maybe uh, well, we are getting the resources. We do have people going down and getting the stone and getting the iron and uh, getting the wood from up here. I think maybe we'll go back down to just having two builders. So we have the eight laborers. That way we'll get all of the resources that little bit quicker. And now while all of that's going on, we're having some complaints about firewood being a little bit low, which it absolutely is. So what I think I'm going to do, since we're going to be working on a bridge here, is I am going to get a woodcutter over on this side of things. So, in fact, I could do a woodcutter way out here if I wanted to. This might not be a terrible spot for one, given that we do have, you know, some production out here already. We also have some people complaining about being cold. I don't know if that's to do with the fact that they don't have firewood or if that's to do with the fact that they don't have clothes. It could be either or. I think I'll pass on doing a woodcutter out there, though. And I realize my existing woodcutter is pretty far away from where the wood gets uh, gets chopped down. So uh, we'll we'll see. I think what I'll do is I'll put a woodcutter. I'm going to say right about here is is where I'm going to put a, uh, a new woodcutter. So right about there, we can hopefully get that done in a decent amount of time. Hopefully this bridge gets done as well, because then we can send people over to start chopping all this down. We can probably increase the uppermost limit on firewood as well. Maybe we'll change that to be 1,000 rather than 500. So the two of them can hopefully get it up there and we'll see what happens. I'm realizing that I have essentially one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've more than doubled the number of houses that we had at the start of today's episode. So it makes sense that the woodcutters will be struggling just a little bit. In fact, what I think I'm going to do is prioritize the bridge and I'm going to prioritize the woodcutter. So both of those things need to be built as quickly as is possible so that we can get over here, get this wood, get this stone, get the iron and keep production going. 
we really can't afford to be running out of firewood, especially late in spring. It's going to go into summer. I mean, that'll be okay, but autumn and, and winter, that's, that's going to be rough. And there we go. We have our second woodcutter. We're up to 250 firewood again, which is absolutely fantastic. This bridge is also underway, which is exactly what we needed because I can now go ahead and basically say, give me every resource out here. I don't want to just give them a massive area to clear out, but I'm going to say all of that can probably go away. And that's going to give us some wood. That's going to give us some iron. That's going to give us some stone. We've got these stockpiles right down here which is absolutely perfect. It means that the storage barn can get up and running again as well. It means that this fishing dock can be finished. It also means that the trading post can be finished. And so that's going to mean that this entire little development, basically doubling the size of our town, is, is going to be good. We're also sitting on just shy of 10,000 stored food right now in early winter, which I am so pleased about. We have a lot of pecans in here. Honestly... I would be tempted to do another couple of orchards. I think we push into this space with another couple of orchards and see what happens. Or we could use this space down here. We absolutely could use this space down here for another couple of orchards. That probably wouldn't hurt. So that's that's maybe what we'll do with this space. I'm not really too sure yet, but uh, I suppose we'll figure out. And by that, I mean, I suppose we'll figure out in the next episode. I am going to let you know. I'm not promising that this is going to be the case, but I am aiming to have banished me every day on the channel for the next little while. I'm really enjoying this and I'm it makes me so pleased to see that you guys are as well. I really wasn't expecting this game of all games to get the reception that it's had, but I'm really grateful that you guys are uh, supporting the series and the channel and, and digging, you know, this, this return to banish. So I think what we'll do in the next episode essentially is have a look into the productions that we don't have already so we'll look at a tailor we'll look at a tavern we'll look at things like the uh, the mines and the quarries as well and i think what we'll probably do is try to have all of those supported by well the the tavern and the tailor will go over here so they'll be supported by houses already and it's actually really cool thinking about it that uh, all of the people working on this island also happen to live on this island right now for the most part so that's neat but i think what i'll do with the mine and the quarry is put some stockpiles near them i'm probably going to put some houses near them and i mean they're not going to be so far away that they they need markets and things like that but i just want the people that work there to be able to live relatively close to them and we'll see how that goes and that should in theory get rid of the issues we're having where we're running out of stuff it's not going to fix it magically it's not a one-stop shop you know for a solution but it will give us a supply of those things without me having to go out and you know constantly mark areas for for clearance so that's the plan at the very least and as we have this last building coming together for this uh this new island i think all that's left to say is Thank you very much for watching, everybody. It's been an absolute pleasure as always. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.